uh, let me first explain what we are doing here. Now, I wrote a story recently about the fact that the speedometer in your car, or speedo for short as we call it here, actually reads slightly faster than your real speed. Now, car manufacturers tend to do this to adhere to lots of laws throughout many different countries, but the basic reason for it is that speedos are never really dead accurate. I mean, there's lots of different variables like tire sizes, wheel sizes as well to consider. But what they tend to do, at least in the UK, is make the car read slightly faster, three to four miles an hour faster than you're actually, actually going. And that means that you can't break speed limits by accident because if it was reading slower than you're actually going and you're sitting at, um, let's say, 50, and you're actually doing 55 miles an hour, that would mean that you would end up with a speeding ticket and you wouldn't be very happy. So, what you'll find is a GPS, and especially I'm gonna compare it with Google Maps because that's now got a speedo. So the GPS speed, uh, if you've ever had a TomTom -tom or another app with a speedo on it or a head-up display, some people get those, you'll find that the speed shown on there is slightly different to the speed that you're actually doing. Now I'm gonna show this because this happens in pretty much every car I've ever been in. Uh, now I'm gonna get the car to exactly 50 miles an hour. We're on a nice empty, empty, empty dual carriageway. Now I'm going to hit 50. I'm gonna actually set the cruise control, but uh, cruise control is 50. You can see that on the bottom there. Cruise control is exactly 50 miles an hour. The car thinks it's doing five zero miles an hour. You can see the speedo shows 50. Now on the GPS, it's actually showing 48 miles an hour. I'm doing 48, so we're already actually doing two miles an hour less than the car thinks we are. So I'm actually not doing the speed that the car says I am. This happens in a lot of cars. It varies depending on the speed that you're doing. Let's take it up to 60 because we're on a nice empty, empty, empty dual carriageway. It is, as you can see, 7.48 in the morning. It's a Sunday, it's completely empty, this road. I'll try and move the bracket up. But, oh, you can see the road is completely empty. So now we're doing exactly, uh, just check again, exactly 60 miles an hour according to the um, onboard computer of the car. And we're actually doing 57, 58 miles an hour according to the GPS, so we're three miles an hour slower. Uh, two to three miles an hour slower depending. Let's take it up to 70, which is the speed limit on this particular road. The car's gonna now go up to seven zero miles an hour exactly. Okay, now it's sitting at 70. But again, the GPS says we're doing 67. So we're now three miles an hour slower than the car actually says. So as you can see, and this does happen in more cars as well, we're actually not doing the speed, whoops, sorry, we're not doing the speed that the car thinks we are. So that's the difference between GPS and your car speedo.